Hello everybody, welcome back to my day-to-day -day base plan with me for the week of March 18th through the 24th. I'm using this kit from Scribble Prince Co. It was the Cyber Monday Mystery Kit for 2023. Um, I decided to use this kit because my mom's birthday is the 26th of March. But because it's the same week as Easter, I've decided to get two Easter kits. Really what I should have done is done one planner birthday, one planner Easter, and then like swapped. So like this one should have been whatever Easter kit I'm going to use for this planner for next week, the following week. So the 25th through 31st, I believe it is. Um, and then used like this kit. I don't know. It's not really a birthday kit, but... There's this picture of my mom and my aunt when they were growing up in the 70s. And they have like the long, really long hair, like straight hair. And I don't remember what they're wearing, but like very 70s clothes. Like you can even like the vintage type of the photo. Like it's just a, a photo that I have ingrained in my head and... Yeah, so anyways, I decided to use this kit because of my mom's birthday, which is the 26th, and yeah, just because it kind of reminds me of, like, the 70 vibes. I will say that I'm in love with this foil bundle. Like, the foil is really pretty. It is a, like, gold, but there's, like, another element to it of, like, like a wave almost, so it's really pretty. I was really mesmerized by the foil bundle. Um, and it is the foil bundle that came with it. I think it came out really cute. I will say that I am so used to not using foil bundles. And I know I've said this like several times. I'm so used to not using foil bundles that it's weird when I use a full on foil bundle. Because my thinking was, is that, you know, I have this foil bundle. Is it going to match with anything else? I don't really know. I'm sure I could have used it with other things. I would just have to get other underlays that have this like wavy gold accent to it or whatever it is because it's not just a gold hollow. It's like there's another element to the foil. So yeah, but I do feel like it's a lot with the headers. Um, and then when you when I put down the overlays, you'll see that this double box one I didn't realize like, I didn't think about the fact. I was like, I just grabbed the one that goes on Friday. And then when I went to go put the one on Saturday, I was like, oh, well, the happy faces are going to be upside down. Don't really think you can tell on in, like, in this video. But you'll see me, like, pause for a second. I'm like, what am I going to do? Um, if there were, like, happy faces on other boxes, I was just going to cut a box up and, like, figure it out. Figure it out. But, yeah, I could not... <laughs> I just was like, mm, I'm going to do it. And then I realized I put a full box overlay on all the boxes, except for I think it's Monday. So now I need to go back and do that. But I do feel like with the headers and these underlays, it's a bit much. But I committed. So, And you're going to see me put deco at the top, which I never really do. And I really like that. I decided not to use the date cover-ups because I switched around the colors, as you can tell. <coughs> Excuse me. This green color is not my favorite, so that's why I decided to make it the Thursday. Um, but I do feel like I needed that color in there because the other color that was offered, the like light cream color, I don't feel like went with this kit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the oranges and the pinks are pretty, and the green goes. It's just that don't care for the color. So, and you will see that I pulled icons. Um, I've been trying to be better about pulling icons and like colors that I have of like samplers that match kits that I have. And I think it's been working out really nice if I do that ahead of time. Um, I've been doing it really good with this planner, not so much with my other, my memory camp planner. So yeah. Um, as far as plans for this week, it's a full week. Um, I'm excited spring begins, but I don't know if that means anything except for the fact that it actually is going to be in the 70s, which is like the typical winter that I want. Well, it's spring. It's spring now. But, you know, that's what I'm used to here in California. Like I am one of those. I just don't know that I'm ever going to be able to live anywhere else because I'm so spoiled by our weather. And this winter has been um, very rainy and very like 
random rain. Like the other day, there's not been rain in the forecast um, since the last time it kind of like stormed and it randomly rained Friday. So um, I'm doing this voiceover on Sunday, which I am late on. Um, that is another thing I'll talk about real quick. So before I get back into my plans for the week, but my youngest um, was not feeling well last night. And so she really wanted to cuddle. Um, I could just tell something was wrong with her. She's been on, I don't know if she's like growing. I'm assuming that's what it was. Um, because then she woke me up in the middle of the night and was like, mom, I have a headache. And I was like, well, do you feel like I'm going to throw up? She's like, no, nothing else feels wrong. I just have a headache. And I'm like, you seem too young to have a headache, but okay. So I gave her medicine and that's when I really know that she doesn't feel good. Um, so we were up to like three, I think. And then, um, yeah, but anyways, all that to say, like, I just really wanted to take care of her and make her feel better. So even though I had a voiceover, she told me, she, she even said, mom, you can do that tomorrow because I need you kind of thing. So I'm of course going to do my motherly duties. So I figured not a big deal to have this up a little bit later than normal. Um, so anyways, uh, this is our last full week before we go on spring break. So Friday, when I get off work, it will be, um, spring break for us. Uh, Saturday, we do have a funeral. It's not a funeral. It's a like celebration of life to go to, um, for my cousin's wife's mother. And then I don't think we have anything else. Maybe just kind of getting ready on spring break. Uh, I mean, I can kind of talk about it when we get to spring break. Um, we are going to go out of town for a few days. We're gonna go to the beach. So hopefully it's warm enough for that. Probably won't be. Um, and then my oldest wants to get her hair cut, which I need to book the appointment because the people that I go to um, get booked up really quickly. And I think that's, I mean, there's not much for this week. I know that it's, I'm, I'm kind of dreading this week. I'm not going to lie. Like normally, I mean, just like your normal, like, ugh, I don't want to go to work kind of thing. But this week I'm kind of really dreading because, um, Everybody who does discipline, which I don't do discipline, that's not, like, I don't have a credential, so I shouldn't be doing discipline, Um, but everybody who does discipline (laughs) is going to be gone this week, pretty much, so um, Monday through Thursday, so pretty much the whole week, I have no idea what we're going to do, I know that it's going to be like, hey, Britannia, what do we do with this? It's not my department, so I'm a little nervous about that, Um, but it is what it is, right? Um, Yeah, I think that is it. I was I should have gone to this conference that everybody else is going to because normally they don't have a a ton of HR stuff and HR is part of like under me part of my um like what I supervise and so I should have gone so I can know um more about HR because that is one thing I'm lacking still um but I am taking some like webinars and I'm learning a lot so yeah there's always more to learn I feel like in any role that you're in but Anyways, I am pretty much going to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me, this base, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.